Yo guys, what's going on? It's over here 28 back today with another staff guide and I'm going to be showing you guys how to upgrade the fire staff or into Kasuchi's bud and so guys, I'm going to recommend a few things before starting. I'm going to recommend the shield and the Maxis drone which will both be linked in the description along with the basic fire staff and without further ado guys, let's get started into this video. So first of all, first step, you're going to need a crazy play step and a real world step. Once again guys, like we've seen with all the other three staffs that I've upgraded on the channel. So, but first guys, you're going to want, I'm going to show you guys what you have to do here. So, walk over to the grates here and you're going to have to shoot zombies right when they're on the grate with you. Shoot at their feet and as you can see guys, these cauldrons will fill up and you have to shoot the zombies while you're on the grate with them. You cannot you know, stand back here and kill them over here, because even if you stand right here, they will still not count, so they have to be on these fiery looking grates with you while you kill them. And as you guys can see, two out of four are already filled. If you're on round nine, round ten, this does not take very long, that's why I waited to a, you know, higher round to do this for you guys, so. Guys, you don't want what is one either, because the soul, it will not count when you fill these. It will not count, so. If you have Widow's Wine, throw the grenades, throw them away, and you want to wait until they're on here with you. As you guys can see, three out of four, or three out of four are filled, and if you guys, you know, figure you can do this, they will light, but it will go out in a very quick motion. And guys, there is also no set time, so you don't have to do this in one round, as long as you get, you know, the zombies killed while you're on the thing. So just kill it while you're on there. So try to train them if you can. As you guys can see, you should hear Pachu. Or that, not Pachu, that should fly away. And then you know you are ready to start the next step. So the next step, guys, is going to be the real world step. It is going to involve a coding, which will be on the screen. When I'll tell you guys here in a second, it will be on the screen for you guys. So there will be a coding, and you're only going to want to focus on fire, so just giving you guys that. So here is the coding, and I will tell you guys, I'm gonna to try to go. There is going to be a code up here, so the screenshot will be coming on around now. To only keep one zombie, and leave one alive. So the, the, you can see guys, there is a code. I will show you guys here in a second here. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys here. I'm gonna just kill these zombies real quick. So now I will show you guys now that I am have lost on me most likely. This is going to be 11. That is 5. That is 9. That's 7. That's 6. That's 3. That's th And this is 4. 4 will always be like that. So, you know, it took me a minute. So, you know, um, my bad. But the one. So it, we have the code of 5. 5, 7. Three and nine and four, which is always a blood stain. So now, once you have that, so it was five, three, seven, nine. You can shoot these in any order. So right here is three. Also, make sure you guys do have the tank out of here. That and then five. You got to do this in quite a quick succession, so just be careful. If not, you guys can just restart it, and it's fine. Which I'm gonna have to restart. Well, hold up. And then five. If you've done it right, you should hear Pachu. Which you have to be very quick, so... That... That... And then you hear Pachu, so it took me a minute, guys, to get that. This one can take a minute. So once you hear Pachu, you are ready to turn the dials, which I've already got three of them turned to not keep much of you guys' time here. So just race up the steps to excavation here, guys. Just run up here. Come back down here. Also, guys, feel free to pause the video at any time in the tutorial today, guys. Just feel free to pause anytime. So, now you guys are going to... I already turned these ones for you. Make sure you guys are pressing square when you're standing by these. So, stand right here, and you guys can see, just turn it. They're all going to be red this time. Then, once you've done this, you should come down here and see a... Red orb this time, red lavish looking orb. I'll put lavish in the description or you know, lavish on the screen here. So, this is going to be a lava one or a reddish. Shoot it again like you've done all the others, and Pachu should be hurt again. 
and you've done this correctly. So now guys, you're going to go back and do what you've done in every other tutorial is going to fill and charge these, the staff with the zombie souls. Just like we did with the lightning, the ice, and the wind, we're going to do the same exact step. That's the only step that will never change is going to be this one. So, yeah, guys, this mud can be a little bit of a pain, but, you know. The fire staff is a little more difficult to get. That's why I saved it till the very last. So, you know, that's why I saved it, you know, till, you know, the very last staff I'm going to upgrade. And then I'm going to be doing some other videos this weekend, guys. So, you know, make sure you guys do subscribe and stay tuned for more videos, you know, more glitches, you know, everything else. But now once you're ready, you're going to go down here to the red, the red area this time. And you're going to just place it right in the pedestal like you've done. And you can kill zombies right next to it or anywhere in here and not get trapped by the rocks. But you can go ahead and kill it, any, kill the zombies anywhere in here you feel comfortable killing them. You can just kill them right here. You can kill them anywhere. As you guys can see here, just, just kill them anywhere. Do not take nukes, guys. I know I'm, I have the habit of taking them for ending rounds and stuff, but... And you guys can see that the staff is now upgraded and ready to be used. So now once you guys have upgraded your fire staff, take your Kasuchi's blood and you're going to be unlocked with a charge mechanism now with holding R1 or whatever it is on Xbox. Go ahead and hold that and just shoot it at a zombie and it will make a thing, lava looking thing and it will just kill the zombie. Also unlocked with a new melee attack. And you can snipe the zombie if you're, if you're lucky enough. And for the last part of the staff, you got the Sacraments Vigor or the SV. Oh, I put the Maxis Drone out. My bad, guys. So there's the Maxis Drone. You guys can check that out. So that thing is very useless, mainly meant to revive players, as I told you guys in past videos. As I told you guys in the past video that these were only used to revive the players. So hopefully you guys did find this guide useful. If you have, please subscribe. There's also three other guides up on YouTube. I'll most likely put this in the playlist. And the playlist will be on screen sometime around now. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. Leave a like. Subscribe. Peace out. Bye.